Hi Scorpio, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your monthly reading for January 2020. Happy New Year. Sorry this is a little late guys. Um, uh, for many of you who are returning subscribers, you are well aware that I was transitioning this month, um, moving from New Jersey to Michigan. I'm finally here, so I'm just getting situated and back into the swing of things. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and make sure you hit subscribe, that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. All right, guys, as always, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with everybody out there. So take what resonates, leave the rest, and utilize your own intuition here. If you want something more private or personable, you can go in the description box below. All of my information is there, and yes, my bookings are now open, okay? We're gonna start off with some oracle cards, and then we're gonna work our way into the tarot spread. Please keep in mind, um, Ooh, I just got one card that flew out. I'm going to keep it there for a second because <laughs> that usually doesn't happen. Um, please keep in mind that uh, the tarot spreads are, you know, they're based on the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month, Scorpio. So take, um, take time as fluid. So just know that some of this may have happened in the past, some of this may be happening presently, and some of this may be happening down the road, okay? It's fluid. Things move, okay? So just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant ma masters as to what messages that Scorpio needs to hear. The one card that um, flew out and I put to the side and we're going to put it back in the deck was Loyal Heart. I feel strongly here that this is in regards to some kind of commitment here or feeling um, a lot of love or being loyal to someone okay and that doesn't necessarily have to be just a loved one this could be family member or a friend but some kind of loyalty is in place here we'll see what that comes in there if that comes card comes out again but i do feel for a lot of you scorpio there's some kind of something in regards to loyalty okay message in the bottle milk and honey so many cards i mean so many signs got that card in the deep knowing Scorpio. I feel that somebody may be in a distance from you, okay? And that's that loyalty, somebody that you're communicating with from a distance, okay? I do feel that there is something that it makes you feel that you're abundant, feeling very happy, feeling very, um, you know, fulfilled in life. It's That's your present energy here, feeling that luck is finally on your side. But I do feel strongly that you are at a distance with somebody um, that's you know, even though that you're in a distance, they may be giving you a gift or maybe you have given them a gift, but there's something where it feels like an equal give and take. There's a deep knowing here, deep knowing, utilizing your own intuition here. I just feel for a lot of you, um, even though that it's a message of the bottle where it might be unexpected, right? You don't typically get a message in the bottle walking on the ocean, it's something that's new. It just feels like it's at a distance. And there's something in a knowing here of, of what this is. And I feel strongly of you, it's like a deep knowing that this person, um, I find companionship, happiness. We'll see what the tarot cards have to say. But I feel like this person brings you a lot of joy. You feel very good or happy with however you are in life with this. And that deep knowing is maybe, maybe it's a deep knowing that even though you're at a distance, the heart grows fonder, you know, that you're loyal to this individual no matter what, even at a distance. There's something at a distance. It could be family members on a distance. Some of you might be distant from your family. And, you know, it's just feeling very grateful that we have technology these days to get there. All right, we're starting off with the Two of Swords. The moon energy is reversed. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. The Queen of Swords, okay? You might be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Middle of the month, we have the Tower reversed, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the Star reversed, the Sun, interesting, the Five of Cups reversed, and the Five of Swords reversed. Change, a lot of change here. Page of Swords Reverse. Interesting. Okay, so hmm. this is about somebody watching you, right? With the reverse, it's almost stating that um, 
I don't know if you're not watching somebody or somebody feels like they can't see you anymore or you know they that's probably what it is I feel like this is a long distance relationship of some sort I feel for a lot of you Scorpio with the crossroads here it's basically saying um, you know not, not sure which way or direction to go here but I feel for a lot of you you do have clarity of a situation here with the moon reverse this energy is usually about uncertainty the unknown not sure where things are going but again they're showing me two different very dogs here even though they're howling at the moon with the reverse it's basically having clarity of a situation but feeling at a crossroads because of this distance that's in the way I feel like it's an obstacle with the Knight of Wands reverse, it's basically stating that somebody, and you, you could be dealing, um, Scorpio, with a fire sign, so um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or a, or a sort, um, an air sign, so um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, there's both. There's a lot of that energy, air and fire. They might have both in their chart. But this is somebody who's driven and compassionate and loving, very fiery, right? With the reverse next to the Queen of Swords, this is basically somebody who is not as compassionate or driven to be with somebody. It might feel like they're a little bit cold. This individual might feel at cold just because they are so far away from you, okay? Um, the Queen of Swords, though, she is very strong. She is very uh, logical, but she is also about speaking the truth, okay? I feel like for many of you, this distance is the truth. With the tower reversed, when I usually see the tower, it's about things that no longer serve you falling out so that it clears something new. With it reversed underneath the Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups, I feel for many of you, this is in regards to the surroundings, your environment, okay? This doesn't necessarily mean you're partaking in it. I feel the, the tower moment here is the distance, right? The Eight of Cups is basically stating somebody is walking away from a situation, okay? feeling like it's not serving them, emotionally not serving them. I just feel that there is some kind of message here in regards to family that is feeling a little bit imbalanced for you, that it's time to have your wishes come true. I feel for a lot of you, you're trying to, and we'll see what the arrow, tar the after tarot cards have to say, but it just feels like this person is a family member of some sort. Um, you know, it could be, it could be a sibling. It could be, um, you know, a parent or something, or it really could just be a loved one that you really love and you just, you're not seeing them. But somebody definitely moved away, walked away. I think that's where it's feeling a little bit iffy or making you feel imbalanced because this person brought you a lot of joy. With the Knight of Pentacles reverse, this is basically the slowest card, right? But it's stability. With the reverse, it's about talking about the instability of this, instability of this distance here. I'll be surprised if, I would not be surprised if we get the world on here. But with, they're really pointing out with the star reverse about not getting wishes, not feeling that balance towards the end of the month, I just really feel strongly it's this distance that is causing this imbalance, okay? Because there is happiness here. I feel for a lot of you, you're on your own of finding happiness within, okay? This is basically becoming stable with yourself. With Five of Cups reverse, this is typically about a card of looking at all the spilled cups, okay? Not really focusing on the relationship here or what you have. I feel with it reverse is that you're seeing this now. You're seeing those two cups, okay? Some of you might have been dealing with somebody who was a little bit egotistical, was always in it for themselves, um, and I really feel strongly that this person is communicating to you to give some kind of an apology, um, just to let you know that they've grown. You may be doing that as well, but I feel with it reverse, the fact that this is reverse, is that somebody has really put their ego down, ego to the side. There's, there's, um, Maybe you always knew this. Maybe you always knew that this person was going to change. All right, I'm gonna use the after tarot deck, Scorpio. Um, the after tarot I do not do reversals on. This is basically a play off the rider deck. It's the after cards of what each one is. So there's always additional messages on here. So let's see what we have. On the two of swords, we have more air energy than knight of swords energy. There we go. The King of Wands, again, right next to the King of Wands. <laughs> yeah. 
the star. There's that balance again. Repetitive cards here. We have the Ten of Swords, more air energy. On the tower, we have the Three of Wands. On Eight of Cups, we have the Empress. On the, there's that world. I told you the world was coming. That there's that distance. On the Ten of Pentacles, we have the world. On the Knight of Pentacles reverse, we have the Ace of Pentacles. On the star reverse, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Again, Ten of Pentacles twice. Queen of Swords on the sun again. We have the Hermits and we have the Three of Cups, Scorpio. I feel that this person who was at a distance from you could have been originally very harsh with their words. You could have felt very defensive with them, okay? This is about wanting to get out of that energy, something that came in quick. But somebody was there definitely in, in, in the beginning or very brash with their words. I feel with the King of Wands coming up side by side next to each other and the fact that the star is in here, Scorpio, I feel like this is your energy. I feel strongly that this is you. You might have fire in your chart, but this is somebody who is, like I said, passionate, driven, who's trying to heal a situation, okay? I feel for many of you, it's about trying to get that passion and drive back. I think that this, um, now, now it takes two people, especially when we have the Queen of Swords here, it takes two people to form a relationship and compromise. So I never try to put it completely on another person saying that this person needs to take responsibility. You need to take responsibility too. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Um, but so if you're in for that reading where it's like, I'm gonna blame the other person, um, it's not all about that, okay? This is about coming to a completion, okay? I feel that this person, like I said, could have come off as really cold. They have a new perception of you. Um, they see what you've been through. There's a completion here, okay? I feel like the communication is that, um, you know, with the tower on top of, with the three of wands on top of the tower, this is about a breaking of a foundation of something happened. I feel it's this distance. I think at one point you guys were together, somebody must have moved or relocated or felt strongly, um, you know, like I said, if this is a family member, this is about somebody moving house, moving on in their life, but you might have had some harsh things to say. But here with the Eight of Cups energy and the Empress on top of this, the Empress, man, she's like the Empress, I mean, she's the mother card, right? She's She's confident, she's loving. I feel strongly that this person who walked away who moved away, they can, might see you kind of as a motherly figure and you know, it doesn't matter what sex you are, but this is somebody who's nurturing, who's there receiving. Um, I think this person sees your worth and um, they value you now that there's a distance here, okay? The distance is definitely um, in place here though with the Ten of Pentacle and the Ten of Pentacles and the world, okay? so. This is about that movement. I feel like there's communication, even though the communication is coming in strongly because you have that space now, that space to basically be able to know um, that, you know, feel, feel abundant within yourself. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, like I said, which was reversed, is the slowest card here. There is some kind of new beginning, but I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is about you having a new beginning, Scorpio, okay? Just basically saying there's new opportunities, new doorways for me to go through. I'm no longer stuck or, or stuck in the situation here. With the star reverse and on top of that 10 of pentacles, again, I feel like that it was just like towards the end of the month, it's still healing a situation, okay? The healing a situation that brought you much abundance and happiness and made you feel good, okay? I think this person has really evolved here and there's, there is, um, there is a sense of happiness in this level. And the reason I see the involvement is because when we look at the Queen of Swords here, see how brash and cold she looks, but here it's about speaking the truth. And I see a butterfly on top of here. So I feel like this individual has evolved. I feel like at one point there was much happiness within this for you, but I think that this communication that comes in place is actually going to bring you much happiness because there's something that is going to be resolved here. 
with the five of cups reversed and the hermit I just feel like you've shed a lot of skin here with the snake but you're enlightened now to the situation of this partnership and what it meant to you okay you're focused on these two cups not these spill cups you're focused on this because it's reversed so I think that you still value this this partnership this friendship this love this family member it's just that this communication is going to actually bring some kind of healing aspect for you with the five of swords reverse that i said this person is letting go of their um ego this is about coming together i feel strongly for you there's more than just this feels like more than one person who's coming together so it's very family oriented whether you had children with them or this is brothers and siblings, or there's something that's coming together, reuniting, right? There's some kind of reunion um, with this message that comes in place, and I just really feel strongly you've always known this, right? You found a lot of happiness within the situation um, that in the past maybe you did not before, but you're still, you're still enjoying life. Yeah, I feel that strongly, Scorpio. Let's see what animal spirit we have for you. Here we go electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life electric eel look at this look at this I feel this is bring there's something in this where I was bring your ideas to life we'll have to see what the angel answers things but I feel for a lot of you this message is actually going to bring you to life okay you might have some new ideas on how to communicate with this individual even though you're at a distance or you can't hang out right it's all of a sudden like, okay, well, let's make time for each other no matter what. We're still friends. We still love each other. We're still family. So let's see what we got. Trust. Look at this. Trust. Again, they're showing me two, you know, they got Master Jesus behind you, but this is about trusting, having faith, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, you have that already. It's that deep knowing. So that's something that is in place already for you. Let's see what three healing cards we have for you, Scorpio. And hopefully my dog Baxter can calm down because he's still nesting. <laughs> I watched him pace the room like four times during this reading. Silly dog. All right. We have past, present, and future. We have anger. And we have transformation past, present, and future. There's that three again, three. Coming together, I feel like you're bringing it all together. I think that you've had a very deep, um, this, this feels like family. This feels like somebody that you've been um, through thick and thin with, right? And you still see a future with them in a sense. Anger is basically having the sting and letting go of the anger, okay? I think that is probably the biggest lesson here in this. So if you are still feeling angry or bitter over a situation and you're not feeling like you're still hanging in on this reading, <laughs> but if you're not feeling like there's no communication or like, you know, I don't understand why things didn't work out their way, there was healing that needed to happen that's a transformation that is going to happen again this person might be going through that as well they're showing they're really pointing out to me this uh, caterpillar and what's happening here which is the butterfly there's a transformation happening here something's coming to life with this change for sure letting go of that anger all right Scorpio if this resonated for you go ahead and comment below or hit like and I will see you next time take care